Let us learn about vegetables which is consumed by us as food. Before going into this topic you should know the difference between fruits and vegetables. Fruits are developed from flowers whereas the part that we consider as vegetable is root, stem, leaves of plants. Root, stem, leaves of plants. Still there are few exceptions like cauliflower it is a flower of the plant which can be used as vegetable tomato actually it is fruit but we use it as a vegetable mainly based on their use they are considered as vegetables even uh, there are few other differences like fruits will be more sweet in taste compared to vegetables the difference in the taste still there are few exceptions in vegetables like sweet potato that is sweet beetroot that is sweet still it is considered as vegetables clear cut differences between fruits and vegetables you will be learning in higher classes okay we we'll learn now we also eat other parts of plants we call many of these parts as vegetables other parts of the plant means other than fruit okay we call many of these parts as vegetables like root, stem, leaf, certain cases even flowers. Okay, they are considered as vegetables. Now, one example has been given here. Carrot. Carrot is a root of a carrot plant. You can have a look at it. It is a root of the carrot plant. We eat the roots of some other plants too. There are few other plants. Their root we use like beetroot, radish, turnip and like this. So these are all actually roots which can be used as vegetables in our food. Then next, leaves. Have you tasted spinach, palak? Okay, here you can have a look at spinach or palak. We eat the leaves of spinach plant. We eat the leaves of spinach plant. Very good for health. We eat the leaves of some other plants too. We also eat the leaves of some other plants. Let me give you an example. Mint. Which is also called pudina, cabbage, coriander. So these are actually certain leaves. Okay, there are many other examples also. So these are actually the leaves which can be used as vegetable. You can also ask your parents. Okay, which are the leaves or root they use as vegetable while cooking food. Here there is a note for the teacher. Though... Certain botanical fruits like tomato, brinjal, botanically they are fruits but we call them as vegetable. Even some seeds like pea, actually it is seed but we call it as vegetable. Okay, mainly to avoid confusion. So here like all these are actually used as vegetable itself. They are not used as a separate term like fruit or a seed for them. So a general term has been used vegetable that is just to avoid confusion when you go for higher studies clearly you will get to know what exactly vegetable what is fruit. Do you know we can also use the stem of plants as food okay we eat the stems of some plants have you eaten sugar cane you might have tasted sugar cane right very sweet in taste do you know it is sweet in taste mainly because of sucrose. S-U-C-R-O-S-C. Sucrose is a table sugar that we use. That is from sugar cane itself. Even sugar, even jaggery also. That is also from sugar cane. It is the stem of a sugar cane plant. Which is very sweet. Okay, stem of the sugar cane plant. And it is a rich source of iron also, remember. Which is very good for our health. Okay, there are some special stem that grow underground. There are few stem that will grow underground. We think actually only root will grow below the soil that is underground. But there are few stem of the plants they grow underground. Like potato, turmeric, ginger. They have thick stem that grow underground. Okay, here you can have a look at sugar cane. Potato which is, grow, which is growing below the soil. Ginger below the soil underground. Again onion that also grows underground. Okay, below the soil. Here, we eat the bulbs of the onion and garlic. So, this part of the garlic, like onion, sorry, this part of the onion, it is called bulb. Even for garlic also, it is called as bulb itself. 
A bulb is made up of a short thick stem. It is called bulb mainly because of its shape. Okay, somewhat swollen shape. That's why it is called bulb. A bulb is made up of short thick stem and fleshy leaves. When you cut the onion, you will get actually uh, like uh, uh, some fleshy structure. It is nothing but leaves itself. Fleshy leaves. Okay, it is one modified stem like structure modified stem like structure that is called bulb made up of fleshy leaves fleshy means it will have more water content in it juicy it will be okay so that is what actually onion bulb next we learn about flowers which we can use it as food we do not eat the flowers of too many plants not all the plants flowers we eat but we do eat cauliflower and broccoli. You can have a look at cauliflower and broccoli. It is nothing but the flower that we are eating in cauliflower as well as broccoli. They are both flowers. They are both flowers. Okay, there is one activity here. Or did you know that fruit, flower and stem of banana plant can be cooked? Oh, definitely. We can cook fruit, flower as well as stem of the banana plant. Find out how. Also find out how the leaf is used like a plate. We use banana leaves okay, as a plate. Even in certain functions also they serve the food on banana leaf. They say food eaten like on banana leaf. It is very good for health. One of the reason is it will absorb certain pigments present in that leaf, banana leaf. Those pigments after entering our body, they are involved in producing certain vitamins. That is the reason when warm food is actually placed in banana leaf, it will absorb those pigments in a very small quantity which we can't make out. And that will help in producing certain vitamins in our body. And how the fruit, flower and stem of the banana plant can be cooked? You can ask your parents. They will explain you well. 